It is Nottingham Forest 2, Manchester United 1. Manchester United getting smacked up by the Forest, the branches of the Forest throughout the whole time of game. The whole 90 minutes, Forest has, was foresting against us in the second half. Manchester United again, being consistent at being inconsistent. One step forward, two step back. Just after the Aston Villa comeback, Manchester United have pulled us back to, to reality and told us, you know what? Let's go back to what you're used to. You've had it too good recently. You know what? Let's let's just lose again. Oh, wait. And Manchester United again is looking horrendous. It's looking horrible. It's looking peak. And his manager as well. Wow. Another game where the players themselves do not turn up. The football's atrocious. Cannot create chances. Yes, we scored a goal, but it was by sheer luck and mistake. Manchester United need to fix their shit up. They need to fix up. Forrest can be happy, but as a Manchester United fan, fuming, fuming at that performance. Again, we are not good enough, not shown anything, spying us at time. Oh, that attack makes me sick. That attack pisses me off. It makes me mad. That midfield as well. Ah, these, these players, it's just too much for us. It is less stress for us. How do you, how, we end up the year not, not winning. We end the year with no three points. This is just typical Manchester United. Nothing new. Overall today, that first 45 minutes, the most boring 45 minutes I've ever seen, Manchester United was toothless again going forward. We had Marcus Rashford who played up front today and provided nothing for us. Yes, the service wasn't given to him, but he was giving us absolutely nothing. Wasn't running behind the man, wasn't doing anything, wasn't stretching the fence at all. All he did was complain a moment with hands up in the air like, this guy, Rashford, I don't know. And then when, you, when it was halftime, nil-nil, it was boring. You think these guys can come out and do something. Guess what? They do nothing. They just come out and let you down again. The first goal we conceded in the second half because we started off the second half horrible, going forward again, you know, still not good enough. Forrest came out stronger in the second half and then Manchester United. The first goal, the ball being cut in from Nottingham Forest player to Dominguez to finish it off. And again, another goal we conceded because it just rolled past Andre and I know not free like it was a statue or liberty. The guy was frozen frozen just look at the shit and let it go through like this guy looks stupid each time we concede a goal and i've had enough i've had enough for this keeper this keeper is not good enough what kind of keeper is this is not the keeper that we had in syria ah, this was the champions league best keeper keeper of the tournament and look at us look at him he doesn't even look like anyone he doesn't even look like the keeper of the tournament he just looks like a useless man but this then Manchester United brought a little bit of happiness for us you know because it was false it was false, you know, it was cheap thrill, making it 1-1, a mistake from Nottingham Forest defender for Ganacho to just get that ball and look for, get his head up and find Marcus Rashford and Marcus Rashford to finish it off. Although Marcus Rashford had a horrible game, it was a good finish, but this guy was shit throughout. And Manchester United, you equalise. You think you can gather yourself together. But this team does what they keep doing. If we just keep on giving, giving goals, and that's what we keep on doing, guys. And, of course, it came to Gibbs White. I, I believe it was uh, uh, Anthony Alango who got the ball and then passed it to, it cuts it into Gibson White to take a large curler outside the box and, again, making that guy, Andre Onana, look silly, silly. Silly Andre and Anna stretching, but getting absolutely nowhere. And it's another game full time 2 1 to Nottingham Forest. Manchester United have let us down again. I'm tired of these players, man. They're just not good enough. And I hope these new owners are looking and thinking a lot needs to be changed here. You look at players today, and we start off with Bruno Fernandes, who had a unconvincing game, was nowhere to be seen throughout the game making mistakes, giving the ball away as always, doing what Bruno Fernandes does. Aaron Wambasaka and Anthony are the worst partnership on the on the right hand side. The guys don't know each other. He they don't know each other. it's like they just met each other for the first time in every single game they get paired up to together with. Ferran had an abysmal game making mistakes. He was trash. Christian Eriksen and Kobe Minor was above just just bang average. Marcus Rashford was the worst of them all. You know what? Playing up front, 
it's just not for you, big man. It's it never was for Marcus Rashford. How many times are we gonna say it? the guy wasn't bothered at all playing forward? And this is the same guy that said, "I wanted my best position. I want to play up front." And you get that opportunity, and we rely on him. And that's the reason why we couldn't even get goals. We rely on these players who can't create anything. Anthony, Gonacho are not create. They're not looking for their guys. Marcus Rashford, he wasn't. He didn't want anything. He didn't want it. He didn't want to have anything. But yet we still persist. Donkey of the match, Dick, because there was no man in the match, is Marcus Rashford. What a joke, man. Even though he got a goal, Marcus Rashford did what he did. Played shit. Trash. Manchester United fan. I'm tired. But it is what it is, man. We're just not good. We're just hoping for changes, you know. Two-pack. Just changes. In January, transfer window, let's hope. You best pray that this can be done quickly and amicably, but it won't. <sighs> but it is what it is, guys. Just next game. Hopefully we can get something. But again, players just need to improve themselves. And the manager as well. The football's rubbish. It's not long until they're going to have to pull the plug with this manager. He can say whatever he likes about, oh, the new owners want to work with me. But I don't believe it. But it is what it is, guys. Smash that like button. This has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor and Spice. Let me know in the comments who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match if you have a man of the match and let me know what your thoughts on today's game. And of course remember to smash that like button, subscribe to Ready Night TV or press that membership and become a member and check out all the perks. Follow Ready Night TV on Twitch, YouTube uh, and also Rumble and of course um, Instagram and Ready Night TV one. Till next time guys Monday, we should have the catch up with the guys, 8 p.m. UK time. Remember to keep it united if you can, but definitely remember to keep it ready now because your boy is out. Had enough. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. Peace.